the shish. <laughs> shish. The shish. <coughs> Ooh, dragonflies. Having a kid free day at the Vlogist? park. Yes. Is that like Vlogmas but in August? Yes. <laughs> Clever names. I know. We were departed from the start. Nostalgia is my second nature heart. It looks like a swan. This morning, my husband decided to go into work late. Um, so he and I just had a quick little sweet um, getaway to the park. Um, we went and got coffee and walked around Manitou before he had to go to work. Um, it is now much later in the day and I am going to start working on painting some of the furniture for our school room. So um, I have these two lamps um, we're gonna get new lampshades for them, but I'm going to paint the bottoms because they are currently brown. Um, and I'm going to paint them with this really pretty um, Rust-Oleum metallic. Um, and this says it is, it says it's just a brilliant metal finish. It's kind of this like, it's not really showing up perfect. It's kind of a rose gold color, honestly, like a coppery, bronzy rose gold. Um, so they're going to be that, and we're going to hope white lampshades for them. And then I'm also going to um, paint this green chair. This is going to be the chair that goes at our um, computer desk. And I had originally maybe thought about keeping it green because the walls in the classroom are going to be green, but it is the wrong color of green. Um, and I just don't love it as green. So... I am now going to paint it again with the Rust-Oleum. Um, this is the Ultimate Ultra Matte, and this is Rustic Pink, because the pink is one of our accent colors. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and spray that, and Miss Emma is going to help me. It is a little windy out here, so we will see how we do. Stay tuned. Here is the chair 
um, we actually ended up running out of the pink so I went ahead and kind of went over it with a little bit of the rose gold um, and there's still some spots where the green kind of comes through a little bit but I'm not even gonna be concerned about that it's actually much pinker than it is appearing on camera um, I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out uh, I think it matches really well with the other pink we have going on. Again, right now it's looking very tan. Um, and it's not, it's much more pink. There you go. So, um, it did take a lot of spray paint. And like I said, not perfect. Definitely have some areas where the green still comes through. But I think it's cute. And I am very happy with the way the lamps turned out. Um, they are definitely rose gold. So just need to get some lamp shades for those. And I'm super excited to put them in the classroom. I still have um, two more chairs to paint. Um, they're probably also going to be painted pink. Um, I'm not 100% sure. And then I will be painting two tables, our little coffee table and um, the table that the kids sit at to do their um, combined subjects, their science and their history. Um, those are both going to be painted white and then kind of antiqued and distressed. And then the um, day bed that we are creating, we are actually using two antique heads that belong to um, two antique twin beds that used to be my grandmother's. Um, and we're going to make those into a bench. I am struggling with whether or not to paint those right now. They are a very dark wood, um, but given that they're antiques, I'm struggling with whether or not to whitewash them, um, or if I just want to leave them dark. Um, as the table that the computer usually sits on is also dark and so I'm thinking if I have those two dark pieces of furniture they'll kind of balance the room out since one will be on one side of the room and one will be on the other um, and they're both antique pieces of furniture that I don't know that I want <laughs> to paint so we'll have to just see when we get that far but it was a success um, I'm very happy with them as soon as I get the lampshades and both of these lamps and the chair into the schoolroom, I will definitely be showing you guys all of that. Um, as I mentioned in our um, lesson plan with me video, as soon as we are all moved in and everything is done and decorated, I will be giving you a full tour of the schoolroom um, and kind of the whole process along the way. So stay tuned for that, and uh, thanks for watching this video. I know it was kind of short and sweet today, um, but yeah, it was just, this is what we did. My husband and I went and got coffee, and Emma and I worked on some furniture. So I will see you guys tomorrow.